in this third Soffit 101 example, we are going to truly suspend 20 running feet of 90 degree soffit with a slightly different type of specialized drywall grid tee. First, we are installing Strongback SB12, which is what we will suspend our framing tees from. For small 30, 45, 60, 75, or 90 degree soffits, quick stick soffit tees quickly bend to these five designated angles utilizing a protractor that was built into the T. Simply lock the angle that you need with a sharp point screw and you're ready to hang your soffit. Quick stick soffit tees are designed to be hung on 16 inch centers, not 48 inch on center like the soffit main runners on the previous two installations. Please refer to this membrane loading chart when using quick stick soffit tees. We will start with the first quick sticks tee installed against our starter wall then secured to our strong back. Notice how we dog-legged our strong back with enough length to secure to a wall stud? When splicing 12-foot lengths of strong back together down the running distance of your suspended soffit, just splice together with a scrap piece of angle and two screws on either side of the splice. We are using a different type of utility angle at the walls for this build. LAM, locking angle molding, has locking tabs on 8 inch centers that helps us space and lock our tees on 16 inch centers without measuring or marking the angle. After locking the tee at the wall, simply level, clamp, and screw attach to the strong back while aligning the center of the quick sticks tee with the 8 inch on center routed screw location on the strong back. You will need two sharp point screws at the T strong back interface. As with the other soffits, a square soffit is a good soffit. Simply square with a dry line under a similar measured and spaced route hole prior to installing your lamb angle. Yes, I said lamb angle. I'm also using the locking angle molding to properly measure and space the leading 90 degree edge of our soffit. The strength of lamb is that it measures for us and locks the tees into place. A screw is still recommended at the soffit edge and wall for a rock solid installation prior to drywalling. Four foot on center scrap T bracing is still recommended to brace this suspended soffit for when the drywall is being installed. Isn't that beautiful? The perfect combination of construction efficiency and minimalist design that will perform as well as any stud frame soffit installation.